What's up guys, welcome to Film the channel that brings you the latest visual effects, short films and everything film related. I'm your host HFM, and before you're wondering why I'm holding two guns, I'm going to be showing you how to make realistic muzzle flares for your gun effects. Quite loud bro, I don't really feel comfortable with you pointing a gun at me. So bro, it's just a tutorial man, it's not real. Ah, bro. You ready, yeah? Yeah. First and foremost, there are a number of ways we can do this effect. The most ideal way would be using a gas blowback pistol, one of these. And as you can see, when we shoot, the slide blows back. Really, really. The slide blows back if you've got gas in it. Let's put some gas in this baby. The most ideal way would be using one of these. A gas blowback pistol. And as you can see, the slide blows back. On the other hand, if you don't have your hand on one of those, a spring action pistol will do. However, the slide doesn't blow back, meaning we would have to edit in After Effects. So without further ado guys, let's jump straight into it. All right, so first we'll start with our footage. You'll also need to download a muzzle flares pack, or you could type it in on Google Images and use one of those. However, for this project, we actually used a muzzle flare from the Action Essentials pack by Video Copilot. We found it easier as it requires less editing. We used a front muzzle flare to make this work as the camera was directly facing the gun. Next, we tracked the nozzle of the gun using the motion tracker. We clicked play in the tracker window. And once the tracking was done, we created a new node object. We clicked edit target in the tracker window and pressed OK on the new null. Then once done, we clicked apply and applied it to the X and Y dimensions. Once this was done, we added our muzzle flare to the scene and parented it to our null object, which contains the tracking information. We positioned and scaled the flare appropriately, changed the blender mode to screen and added the fast blur. Lastly, we created a yellow solid and turned the layer off. We then masked around the area that our muzzle flash would potentially light up the scene and turned the layer back on and changed the blending mode to classic color dodge. We also added a Gaussian blur. We extended the length of the solid so it matched up with the actual flash itself and turned the Gaussian blur all the way up. And in turn, that gave us the effect of the muzzle flare lighting up our surroundings. So here's two examples of me looking like a complete action hero shooting at non-existent villains behind the camera. Hire me, I'm good. <laughs> The last example, we use a spring action pistol, which we edited the slide going back, which we'll get into now. All right, so now we're back in After Effects. Let's say we would like to make the slide blow back, assuming we've already used the same techniques from before to get our muzzle flash in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate the layer of our footage and we will extend that so it actually only matches up with the flash. And then we will add a freeze frame from the point where the flare actually starts. We will then create a mask around the slide. We will put a position keyframe and a rotation keyframe by pressing P and R on our keyboard, then pressing U to access all the keyframes on that layer. We'll go to the next frame. We'll push the position back so it looks like the slide is actually moving back. 
and we will sort out the rotation so it matches the actual gun. We will then move forward in time and keyframe the position and rotation yet again, moving it back to its original position. We will make sure motion blur is applied. Next we go to our mask properties by pressing M twice on our keyboard and feather out the mask. And as we move forward and back in the timeline, we can see the slide actually blows back. And there you have it. We also have to say, when using one of these, a realistic imitation firearm, please use it cautiously. Alert the neighbours, alert the police, alert anyone who's around you. You don't want them to stop your film shoot because they think it's real. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Please subscribe, like, comment and share. And we hope to see you next week.